Mike Huber, Moneyball Hitter Magazine, team hitting specialist, and lead columnist for the magazine. Today we're covering the Atlanta Braves, and uh, this will uh, be very interesting because the Braves are in a super amount of trouble as far as hitting is concerned. And uh, they may be five to ten years away to becoming the hitting team that they ever were when they were the team that went to the playoffs all the time. They are in big trouble, and I'm going to tell you why. Uh, last year, they hit 241, 241, and slugged only 360. They are ranked 26th in hitting, according to MLB.com. It was pretty pathetic. Um, as we said, our money ball formula is that we want to have four hitters in the lineup at the major league level that can hit 270 or higher with 15 home runs or higher at the major league level, okay? At the college level, that would be different. You would want uh, you know, four hitters in the lineup that could hit over a 320 with, uh, you know, maybe five home runs or something like that. They play less games, okay? It would be very similar um, in high school also. Right, but at the major league level, 270 with 15 home runs and higher. They had uh, Frederick Freeman last year, who hit 288 with 18 home runs. Okay? We would consider that a star hitter. They had Justin Upton, who hit 270 with 29 home runs. Okay? So that's almost superstar status. And they lost him to the San Diego Padres. Okay, a team that hit 241 lost their best hitter. They are in big trouble just on that fact alone. Then they had their chip in hitters that were decent. Um, Jason Hayward hit 271, 11 home runs. He's now with the St. Louis Cardinals. Okay, lost another good hitter. Uh, Chris Johnson, 263, 10 home runs. Evan Gaddis, 263. He actually had 22 home runs. That's not bad. Except he's now with the Houston Astros. So they lost three hitters who supplied most of all the power there. Okay? For the Atlanta Braves. What the heck are they going to do? We all know that they can't develop players as hitters. Okay? Because for the last four years, they've been pretty bad. All right? So what are they going to do? We don't know. We know that their pitching staff is decent, so they can at least float above water, but they're going to have a lot of young hitters up there, and they already had half their lineup that can't hit. Uh, I predict that this team will probably uh, be last in hitting last year if they can go down two more slots or not. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> the hitting coach last four years, who just resigned, has been Greg Walker. Now, if you don't know anything about Greg Walker, he used to be with the Chicago White Sox. He was with the Chicago White Sox for eight years. And when he got to the White Sox, I think after his second, maybe his third year, is when they just surprised everybody. Uh, they got some really good pickups. Their general, their general manager over there really got some big pickups that one year. And they went on and got hot at the end and won the World Series, Greg Walker was the hitting coach at that point, okay? Ever since then, uh, the White Sox spent five years of not really been able to hit very well at all. So he got released, and Atlanta picked him up, figuring, well, he was with a World Series team, and as we've noted, there's been, I mean, somebody's got a, somebody, some hitting coach, we know most of the hitting coaches aren't really good out there, but you got to get lucky and land on a World Series team every once in a while, and Greg Walker did, which has gave, given him at least 10 to 15 more years on his career. Except he goes to Atlanta, and Atlanta's hitters fully tank. He even went in, into Atlanta, and he's the guy who started, uh, one of the guys that started the two-hitting uh, two coach system. Uh, and he started that in Chicago. It's like two eyes or you know, two heads are better than one. 
uh, we can't handle, I can't handle the load all by myself, I need some help type of thing. And that fad has carried over for the last five years. Guess what? Hitting's been getting worse the last five years, even with more hitting coaches. It's basically more hitting coaches that don't know what they're talking about getting inside these gifted players' heads is what's going on. And we've noted that for all the 29 teams, 29, 30 teams that we've done team reviews on. So it should be no surprise to you by now, especially if you're a member. So um, Walker resigns. We know, I've got some inside scoop, that Greg Walker, uh, unlike some of the rest of the hitting coaches, took it a little bit more personal uh, than some hitting coaches do, okay, when the teams didn't hit, okay? And Greg Walker duly admitted on several occasions that he doesn't know everything about hitting and he's still in the learning process. And um, up until the point where he just resigned, you know, hitting is so mystical and mysterious and everything that you have to go deep, deep within yourself to be able to figure out some things. And you know, most people don't want to go that deep in, into themselves to find, you got to find the truth about yourself and then the truth about whatever mystery that you want to solve, which in this case is hitting, okay? And uh, most of these hitting coaches after their games are, you know, hitting the bottle, drinking their beer at the bar, and they're not doing it because they're having a good time, okay? They're doing it because of the stress of this job. And we believe Greg Walker was one of those guys. Now you got these other hitting gurus on the other side of the coin who just piggyback and camelback on a lot of some of the good hitters that are on the team. And they just associate themselves with winners and stuff like that. In the meantime, you know, most of the team that they're coaching isn't doing very well at all. So they disguise the truth a lot of the time. So a lot of these hitting coaches, they're big egos. They're disguising themselves uh, from the truth. They don't go deep inside and really try uh, to do, do the needed research. The needed research in hitting is what's happening underneath the skin. What muscles are happening? What's the chain reaction? How to keep the back leg locked down and anchored in longer? How to use your hips? what to do with your hands, what type of grip pressure should you have, what are bad habits in the swing, what's the best type of set. I'm just telling you, okay? There is a lot to it. It can be simplified, but these hitting coaches, it's just too much. It's just too much, okay? So we don't know what's going to happen with Greg Walker now. He's probably maybe going to get a bench coaching job. If he hasn't already, we don't know, but that's the case. So Atlanta now uh, brings in another hitting coach, Kevin Seitzer. Okay, now as we have noted, all these hitting coaches, they get fired, usually from bad teams, and then another bad team picks them up. Okay, so Seitzer, who actually was with the Toronto Blue Jays, who had a pretty good year. He's only with them for one year. Okay. But they were really slow in the process of signing this contract. I don't think that they, I think the players maybe didn't like him or something like that. I, I, I don't know. If somebody can give me the inside scoop about that, okay? Because Toronto hit pretty good, uh, and they were pretty good before Seitzer came in there, okay? But um, we don't know what actually happened. Why would Toronto let him go so easily to the Atlanta Braves, okay? They must have known that nobody was maybe listening to him or, you know, he's not an easy guy to be around. I don't know, but something was going on. I mean, this happens all the time. That's why I'm mentioning that, okay? So, uh, Seitzer comes in for the Braves. He's a journeyman hitting coach. He he was an ex-pro. He was uh, fired after one season with the Diamondbacks in 2006, uh, where they ranked 20th in hitting. 
he was let go by the Royals. Uh, he had a decent stint with them, but uh, it was duly noted that he couldn't get Hosmer or Mustakis to hit. Um, so that was one of the reasons why he was let go. <coughs> um, Seitzer admits that almost all the terminology the hitting coaches use in the major league, it's like all the same or it means the same. Okay? He actually says that. Okay? Um, we're going to show you, if you go to Moneyball Hitter Magazine, we're going to show you um, how Seitzer actually teaches hitting and how he teaches hitting. If you've ever heard of Smush the Bug, I'm sure that you all have. And nobody really, everybody knows that Smush the Bug really doesn't work. Okay? That's when you take your back foot and you spin it to try to rotate your hips. Okay? By now, Everybody should know that that does not work, except for Kevin Seitzer, because that's what he teaches. And I have a video at Moneyball Hitter Magazine of him teaching that same exact thing, spinning of the back foot. Okay? So if you could imagine all these major league hitters being exposed to that, they got to be rolling their eyes. Maybe that's why he wasn't asked back to Toronto. But go to Moneyball Hitter Magazine, sign up uh, for the magazine if you haven't, and go see that video. It's pretty entertaining. Okay? It's pretty entertaining. And, you know, I have, go I have gone into teams that can't hit, and they've learned similar things to that. Spinning the back leg and trying to rotate the, the hips that way. And I fix that all the time. Okay? I can't believe it's being taught at the major league level. And uh, now I can because I saw Kevin Seitzer do it on the video, and I'm showing you the video. Okay? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, Atlanta, you are in a heap of trouble. Okay? Uh, you picked the wrong hitting coach. Front office guys, uh, you really don't know what you're doing about, uh, when it comes to hitting uh, this is probably going to be your fifth year where you haven't hit and uh, you've picked up some hitting coaches and quite frankly one who has admitted that he doesn't know everything about hitting another guy who admits who really thinks that he knows a lot about hitting okay but we're pointing out that he doesn't and he's been fired from a number of jobs and he's been asked to leave uh, from a number of jobs, uh, and we think it's because of these reasons of him not knowing what the heck's going on. So Atlanta, if you're an Atlanta Brave fan, even if you're Atlanta Brave in the front office, uh, it's not going to be getting any better for you for a long, long time. And uh, if Seitzer is there for more than one to two years, uh, I think you're especially in trouble. Okay? Um, Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Atlanta, but I gotta call them like I like I like I see them, and my predictions usually uh, pretty pretty much come close to the truth. Okay, so thanks again for joining us, Moneyball Hitter Magazine, Mike Huber, over and out. Thank you.